Hey, Drew Believers. This is Ron coming at you with a new video. And this video is going to be on SH Fader Arts Final Form Frieza. And it's a 4th of July weekend uh, that just passed. It's a, it's a hot one here in California, in the LA area. It's been hot. And um, enjoying my 4th of July weekend. Or past, it just passed. It was a good time. And I, this is one I picked, I picked them up on Sunday of that weekend. Uh, a place. I don't know if I'm going to share it yet, but we'll see. Uh, I got a good, real good price on this one. Um, came in its original packaging, and I got pretty, I believe I got retail, original retail price. As you can see there, $51.99 with, uh, with the cardboard box. And I'll show you, I'll show you the bit more. The center, just packaging. Um, I don't know why I keep these or not, but, uh, yeah, so I'll just remove that out of the way and let's focus on the actual figure. So when I saw it, when I, I knew they had it for that price for a little bit now, and I was just waiting for the right moment to pick it up, and I picked it up. And it's, I'm really glad I got it because I know a lot of the eBay and Amazon people are already jacking the price up. They're already, they're at least, they're, they're doubling the price. They're doing probably 100 bucks on it or. Mostly, what I've seen is seventy-five to ninety dollars. So that's going to, to double the price already. So uh, I never at the cheapest point at, for a little bit. I saw it around forty-five, forty dollars at Amazon. And at that point, I was really wasn't sure I was going to collect these figures, but now I'm full force into it, and I got a lot of them, more than fifty percent of them, and it's. One I needed. I got, I got the Excel, and I got down the freezer. I got the Piccolo. If you've seen my other videos, you see what you know what I have. But uh, okay, as for the packaging on this one, it's your standard uh, Seven Nations Bandai Sage Figure Arts uh, Dragon Ball Z figure. Uh, it's a, I love their packaging. I always really enjoyed it. It's had a little display of the figure with all these extra parts and stuff. Cool little images wrapped around the box. Saints Death Ball. Okay. Final form Frieza. Here's the back with a little bio on it. Uh, let's see if it focuses. Focus. There you go. There you go. Final form. So it's pretty cool, I think. I don't think I'm going to display with all his ex accessories, just basic Frieza. I don't have that Vegeta. That's, that's probably him or Android uh, what's, uh, 18 are my next two buys on this. Because Android 18 at this point here, July 7th, it's not out yet, but it should be out soon. I believe later on this month or next month. But I believe it's coming up soon here. I think later on this month. They they were they were selling it at the Anime Expo, which I did not make. Uh, busy this weekend, so I couldn't make it, and which could, but didn't. Um, so yeah, let's open it up, take them out of the package, and see how it looks, and we'll go from there. One sec. Okay, this is our Frieza. It looks out uh, of the box and in its tray. There's just tons of stuff, as you can see. Um, the extra tails, the the beams, the ball, the rock it stands on, um, the extra faces, the hands, the with this little cross arm, um, just, just awesome, dude. Just tons of accessories. Uh, Tashami Nations, Bandai, and when it comes to you know quality, they they don't get they don't they don't cheap you out on stuff, man. They really you know you pay. Fifty dollars for a figure, you expect a lot, in my opinion. So a lot of companies they try to do these premium prices, and they just give you some one little thing, and that's it. I'm like, get out of here, dude. But uh, they they really do it well. Them and Sideshow slash Hot Toys are probably my favorite out there right now. So yeah, so we'll get them all the trays and see how it looks all the tray here one sec. Okay, I'm back. It took me a little minute uh, to get him out, and I got him posing in his arm cross pose. Uh, 
for whatever reason I like that pose. I got my cell doing the same thing. I don't have Piccolo, which has a, also has that option, but I, I might do it as well. Uh, okay, how the packaging? Cell looks. No, cell, my bad. Frieza looks the way Frieza's full final form is supposed to look. Uh, it feels nice. Uh, the articulation, what I've used. So far, it's just standard articulation with most SH figures. Uh, no surprises there. Uh, coloring is great. Uh, you know, I scale to other figures. I think it's the right size. Short. Uh, the major flaw for this figure is the balance issue with the tail. And I think I've heard that in another video. So <laughs> there's a little dance there, but. Uh, yeah, the tail is just, uh, it's kind of, already, without the tails are a little hard to stand, but with the tail it makes it much, much harder. And, uh, when it comes to trying to get stuff out of the packaging, it's a tough chore, because there's a lot, of, a lot of things going on in there, and it's just not easy to, you know, to get it out and put everything back how it was, but it got it, it got it back how it was, but, uh, just minor flaws here and there, but. It's what I expect. Uh, it's what I expected, and I'm pretty happy with the figure. Uh, out of a one to ten, ten being perfect and zero being the opposite of perfect, you can say. I maybe I don't know. I'll say maybe a seven or an eight. Around a seven and a half, maybe. It's not a definitely not. A, 10, definitely not a 9. Uh, an 8, at, at best, I think. Not, not worse than a 7. Uh, like, you know, maybe a uh, really articulated, really well detailed, uh, many extra accessories figure, like a Hot Toys figure, or, or this type will play at maybe a 9 or close to a 10, but, or premium format statue or something like that. that's really nice and detailed uh, but you know I, I still love it it's still a great, great figure uh, the balance issue really is a downfall for me on to not gain a better you know score out of me at least whatever that means um, yeah so of course if you're a Dragon Ball scene fan you're going to love it and you have no choice but to love it because you're a fan it's a great figure, it's the way best freezer figure I've seen in person. Uh, definitely great go, go great with my collection. Uh, definitely look forward to my that Vegeta to pick up and those androids are coming out here soon and Broly as well. Um, so glad with it. It's definitely well all the stuff that comes definitely fifty bucks worth. If they didn't have all that stuff out, no. But, but with all that extra accessories and stuff, it's definitely worth fifty dollars. Uh, paying a hundred bucks on this guy would have been tough for me, but fifty, yeah, no problem. Look at the paint on that; that's really nice. But uh, yeah, so that's uh, Lord Frieza. That's what the guy called him when he sold it to me at the. Uh, well, okay, I'll say uh, Anime Jungle. Uh, in Little Tokyo, that's where I picked them up, and I believe they have more in stock. So if you guys are interested, and you know you don't want to pay over absorbent prices on them, pay retail. They're still having on retail, and if you're a reseller, then don't go. Just you know, give it to collectors. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, there you go, Lower Frieza, and. Final form at Stage Figure Arts. Alright, that's all I gotta say, really on it. Um, you know, there's more thorough reviews out there on, on YouTube, and it's, not, it's, not, it's a, not an old figure, but it's been out for a good year or so. So, yeah. So keep on collecting, keep on being triple levers. See you later. Bye.